So this is the last module. In this module, we're going to reflash the code that was programmed on the nuclear board at the beginning of the session. So let me tell you a little bit more about the flash that is used inside the SM32 G0. So we have up to 128 kilobytes of flash in a single bank. So the main flash is split into 2K pages that can be independently erased. A mass erase feature is also supported. Flash memory access may require wait states according to the actual CPU frequency. To reduce the latency, the flash controller embeds both an 8-byte prefetch buffer and 16-byte instruction cache. An 8-bit ECC code is appended to the double word to program. It is checked on read to detect and correct single bit errors and detect double bit errors. Now it's time for the lab. So the objective of this lab will be to restore the original code, so the out of the box firmware that we saved at the beginning of the workshop. And we're going to do that using three different methods. First method, using SWD, which is the serial wire debug interface. The second method will be using the ST-Link mass storage feature. And the last method, the third one, will be using the STM32 G0 system memory bootloader. The first method will be using the SWD, which is the serial wire debug interface. We will be using the STM32 Q programmer. So for this, we're going to connect to the ST-Link using the tool. So if you were using Calm Ecovision 5 previously from a previous module, please disconnect and close uh, Calm Ecovision 5. Then open stm 2 q programmer and connect to the ST-Link. So make sure that the ST-Link here is selected. So on the upper right corner in blue, and then click connect when your board is connected to your laptop or your machine. So when you click on connect, then you should see that you are connected. So let's do this. I exit from the debug session and then I close the ID. Now open STFI2 Q programmer. So you should have an icon like this on your desktop. Otherwise search you know, for STM32 Q programmer. So I'm going to double click on it to open uh, the app. In STM32 Q programmer, make sure that ST-Link is selected. Then also make sure that the mode is under reset and that the reset mode is hardware reset. Now, once this is set, you can just click on connect. And now we are connected. In STM32Q programmer, you're going to click on this icon right there in green. So this is the uh, erase and programming you know, icon to enter the erasing and programming session or tab. Then in this erasing and programming session, first thing you want to give is the path where is you know the original code. So the original underscore code that bin that we saved at the first lab. So it should be located at C, stm 2 G0 workshop, hands-on, original code, and then original underscore code dot bin. So you can browse it from here. The start address will be the same. So that's the address of the flash. Then we're going to make sure the verify programming has been set. So make sure it's checked here. Uncheck the run after programming because we're going to run the code just by clicking on the reset button once it's programmed. Then once all of this is done, we're going to click on start programming. So right here, I'm clicking on this icon here to enter the erasing and programming tab. For the five path, I'm going to select where I saved the original code, so which was on my C drive. Then stm 2 G0 workshop, hands-on, original code, original underscore code dot bin. So that's the binary file. And I'm going to open it. The address here remains the same. We're going to uncheck the run after programming and start the programming by clicking Start Programming. Okay, so it's been downloaded and verified and completed. You can now disconnect the ST-Link. So to do this, just click on Disconnect right here. And now your ST-Link should be 
not connected, so disconnected. Press on the reset button of your board and you should see the original code that is running. So now we can click on disconnect. So the ST-Link is now disconnected. Please press on your reset button of your board. And now you have the original code that has been restored. Now it's time for our second method. So this time we're going to use the ST-Link master edge feature. So when you connect the ST-Link, so when you connect your board, basically your nuclear board, it's recognized also as a master edge device. And what you can do is drag and drop a binary file, so a .bin, to this drive, and that will reflash the st 2 that is on the nuclear board. So in this case, we're going to reflash the internal flash of the st 2 G0. So to prepare to make the copy, first, we're going to open in an Explorer window the disk drive you know, associated to your nuclear board. So in my case here, it's recognized as node underscore G071RB. So that's my disk F on my machine. And on the other side, we want to prepare another window. So open another Explorer window where you're going to open the location where you save the original code. So where is you know the original underscore code dot bin? First, I'm going to open the Explorer window for my drive, so for the nuclear board. So look for the node underscore G071RB. So in my case, that's the F drive. So I have one Explorer window for this. And I'm going to open a second window where I'm going to look for the binary file. that we saved originally, so the original code. What we want to do now is to drag and drop the file original underscore code dot bin to the nuclear drive. Now we're going to drag and drop the original underscore code dot bin to the nuclear drive. So this will reflash the internal flash with the new code. And now you have the original code that is running again. Third method will be using the stm 2 g 0 system memory bootloader. So every stm 2 g 0 comes with a system memory bootloader, which is right protected, so it's always there, and it can be accessed through different peripherals, like UART, SPI, I2C, and others. So in this session, in this lab, we're going to access it using the UART. So we're going to go back to the stm 2 q programmer and connect again using the ST-Link connection. So we need to connect to it to program the option bytes so that we can boot from the system memory bootloader. Let's connect. So click on connect. And now we are connected. So make sure when you do that, that you have selected ST-Link again. We will now change the option byte to boot from the system memory bootloader instead of the internal flash. So to do this, we're going to change the option bytes. So you're going to click on OB in stm 2 q programmer to access the option byte tab, then expand user configuration, look for the bit called N boot zero, and it should be checked by default. So that means that the stm 2 g 0 will boot from the internal flash. You want to uncheck this bit and then click apply. So in stm 2 q programmer, click on OB for option byte, expand the user configuration, scroll down until you see N boot zero, then uncheck N boot zero and apply. Now the option byte has been programmed correctly. You can now disconnect the ST-Link. So in stm 2 q programmer, click on disconnect. Once it's disconnected, you can either reset the board, so by unplugging or replugging it, or just clicking on the reset on the board. We're going to disconnect now the ST-Link. All right, unplug and replug the board. With stm 2 q programmer, you want to connect to the system memory through UART. So to do this, instead of ST-Link, you want to select UART. So in here, select UART. Then for the port, 
you will select the COM port that is associated to the ST-Link. So if you are not sure, you can check in your device manager. So in my case here, this is the COM port 254. Now for the baud rate, we're going to select 115 and 200. And the parity will be even. Once you have done this, reset your board and then click on connect. Now you should be connected to the system bootloader through UART. In stm 2 QProgrammer, select UART for the peripheral to access the system memory. Then select the port that is associated to your ST-Link. So in this case, it's COM22, so it could be different in your case. Board rate, we want to keep 115,200. And for the parity, even. Now, reset your board. So by clicking on the black button on your nuclear board. And then click on connect. So we will now access. So now we are connected. Access the system bootloader using the UARTs. Because the ST-Link virtual COM port is connected to the UART that is supported by the system memory on the stm 2 g 0 that is on the board that we're using today. Now we're going to process to the upgrade of the flash. So the programming of the flash, we're going to program the binary code. So to do this, we're going to enter uh, through this icon, we're going to enter the erasing and programming page. Then in the file path, you're going to browse to the original underscore code.bin. Start address will remain the same. We're not going to change that. Make sure the verify programming has been checked and that also we uncheck the run after programming. Now you can click on start programming and you should get you know, this window that tells you that the upgrade has been successful. Finally, you can click on disconnect right there. So that will be the last step for the programming of the binary code. We're going to click on this icon right here for the file path. So we're going to give the path where original underscore code dot bin is located on your disk. So it should be at C, stm 2 G0 workshop, hands-on, original code and then select original underscore code dot bin, so which is the binary code of the original code that we saved at the first session. This address here remains the same, so that's the address of the beginning of the flash. Here, make sure that you have this uncheck, check the verify programming, uncheck run after programming. Now click on start programming. We are now flashing using the UART. Now, once you know the file has been downloaded and complete, please OK. Once the download and verified has been successful, press OK again. Now you can disconnect. The only thing we need to do now is to restore the option bytes so that we boot from internal flash again. To change the option bytes, we're going to reconnect the ST-Link, so please make sure to select ST-Link this time and not UART, and then press connect. In stm 2 q -Promer, select ST-Link and connect. We will now change the boot configuration. So you're going to go back to OB to access the option byte window. In the user configuration, go back to the end boot zero bit and check it this time so that we will boot from flash again. Once it's checked, click on apply to reprogram the option byte. Go to click on the OB for option byte, expand user configuration, scroll down to look for the end boot zero, and now we're going to check it again. Click on apply. Okay, so now the option byte has been reprogrammed to boot from the internal flash instead of the system memory. Disconnect the ST-Link. Once disconnected, just press on the reset board and you will see the original call that will run as before. So I'm going to disconnect. Now I can reset my board and I have the code that is running 
as before as expected.